Welcome to Old School RuneScape's newest league, Shattered Relics. This league is the redemption league for me because first league, I managed to get myself the omelette and I tried to get the dust to add it to the omelette so that it becomes permanently metamorphosized. But I failed to do so. My friend Akoma was the only person to get the dust in Twisted League, but he had no pets, so it disappeared. So this time, I have the opportunity to go back to challenge more raids and get this dust and hopefully get it before League's over and I can get myself a permanent metamorphosized omelette. Ideally, I would like to be the first one. So that is our main goal for this League, is to get to challenge more raids and get that dust for my omelette. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this League is by far one of the most complicated Leagues because they are restricting a lot more things than usual. The other two leagues, they kind of just restricted you based on your geography. But this time, they're going to restrict you based on your skills and based on what kind of combat activities you can do, like bossing. Another major difference this league compared to the other two leagues is that normally when you pick a relic, you're kind of stuck with it. But in this league, you have the ability to get all the relics that you could possibly get and switch into all kinds of different styles. You can specialize in range, mage, and even skilling. Sometimes you can swap out all the different relics and you can get different pieces of relics that synergize with each other to give you guys a special effect. Alright, I'm gonna unlock Smooth Criminal. Ooh, I get a get a random one. Alright, let's look at these fragments. Smooth criminal. Wait, where's that? Ah, uh, there it is. Improved pickpocket chance. It's only at level one, so that means if it levels up it can be more effective as I gain more XP. There you go. Hey, we got the omelet, boy. All right. Yeah, we got to metamorphosize this bad boy. What I'm feeling this time around is I'm going to go ahead and unlock the melee magic and range skills first, including prayer and hit points, uh, just to kind of have a overall combat orientated start. And then I will focus on unlocking some other skills. I think I want to unlock Temporos as my first kind of like skilling thing, just because it's a fun content, and you get some good loot and some good armor, like rune armor, and I can also get some money from it too, and food. So thieving was already a skill that was unlocked for me, so I did not have to gather any of the renown points that I get from Taz to unlock it. So I utilized it to get a lot of cakes. Cakes are always a golden standard for early food. All right, that's it, 30 thieving. That's our first level 30. So after I got my food, I just went around the entirety of RuneScape and just did all the general tasks as I could get my hands on. But one of the best teleport strategies that I used was the Waystones, of course. I unlocked all the Waystones I could everywhere, like Lumbridge, Alcarid. And one of the best ways to connect to a Waystone was definitely minigame teleport using Frost Enclave because there's a Waystone there too. So yeah, minigame teleport if you don't have access to Waystone and then it'll connect you to any other Waystone. Alright, damn, I didn't get a unique item, sad. Oh, wait, oh my god, I just completed two tasks from this beginner clue. It's really important to emphasize in this league, what you pick for relics at the beginning, it's not a big deal. Because if you pick range like I did, and you don't like it, it's okay, because you can just get the melee relics probably under an hour by killing some cows, you know, with melee uh, weapon or something. It's really that simple. All the relics are available to you. So in this league, you can reach tier 7 in your relics, and that gives you passive abilities every time you reach a new tier. So I got all the way to tier 3. Alright, well, unfortunately, my my bonus relic was pretty bad, because like, I can't do Slayer right now. But the passive effect, though, for tier 3 is really nice. Oh, 5x to 8x XP, so good. Current favorites double. Ooh, I can I can probably work in those current favors at some point. So yeah, that's gonna be really nice. Like the quest XP is gonna be really good. Training my skills is gonna be a lot faster. It's almost like double the speed of what I was doing prior to uh, tier three stage. So in this league, I need the inventory slots, and I'm gonna use these books. I don't want to waste them. So I think the order I'm gonna go is this. Uh, we're gonna do HP, attack, and strength. This will allow me to do all the super general easy quests at the beginning like waterfall quest, fight arena, and be able to get the experience from the quests. Because if I do them without unlocking these skills, I won't get the respective experience drops from the quests. And it would be such a shame. 
And then do those quests, do like Holy Grail. Once prayers unlocked, and that should give me like maybe all the way to 43 plus prayer. And then I can work on uh, Temporos, because I don't really need money yet, so. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Dude, that Bob random event was crazy. Holy crap, that just boosted my fishing level so hard. Yo, I just got a relic from, a, from doing a quest. I, I just was killing stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, a fragment. Uh, ooh, what is it? I don't know. What? Hold on. <gasps> no, it's on the ground. Oh my god. No, but I don't know if I can enter. Can I enter? Fuck, it's inside. Oh, are you serious? Let me in. Let me in. The mane is a pivotal part of most men's looks and confidence. However, hair loss is a very common phenomenon that happens to most adults, male, by the age of 35. As a male in my 20s, it is apparent that my hair has thinned a lot over the years too. But what if it is possible to keep our hair? Luckily, hair loss prevention exists and Keeps is the premium hair prevention service. The Keeps subscription service includes connecting you with a certified doctor who will tailor and send the right prescription every three months to your doorstep. You also have 24-7 access to your Keeps doctor to address any questions and concerns, check out some of these testimonials from Keeps customers. The earlier you start, the more hair you can keep. The Rice Fields, in collaboration with Keeps, is offering a 50% discount on your first order. Start saving your luscious hair now by clicking on my link, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash rice cup in the description. Thanks for listening. Back to the progress. I know, dude. Wow, I got to 40 thieving and 49 attack though from doing fire arena. <laughs> what the hell, dude? Oh my god, look at my stats. 57 attack, 50 strength, just from doing this quest. Okay. Alright, I'm glad I wanted to train some melee, dude. Whoa, that's insane. Okay, that's awesome. That's the freest points I've ever had. Alright, this is really good, because, uh... Now, I can finally unlock magic. Let's do that. I've been meaning to for a bit, because uh, I need my inventory space back, so... Yeah, there we go. Oh my god, 1.4k, 1.7k. It just gets bigger and bigger. Finally, 2.2k. Two, two, 2 Damn, 27 magic, let's go. Yes, get it stuck behind the tree? Hell yeah, dude. This is the, this is the strap, boys. All about the angles, baby. Ooh, blue dragon kill took like 10 minutes. Oh my god. Three points for that. Let's go. Yes. Ah, finally, we can unlock the prayer skill. And the next thing I'm going to go for is uh, unlocking Temporos because I'm broke. I need some money. Come on, man. Ah, there it is. 210,000 prayer XP. All the prayers pretty much unlocked. All the good ones. Oh, that's huge, man. Okay, I'm gonna work my way towards uh, Temporos now. 50 more renown, and uh, I can do it. Alright, we have the Alchemy Alchemaniac. You'll receive 15% more gold when casting Hell Okay. Oh, yeah, this is so perfect for me, because... Uh, yeah, I am unlocking 55 magic for high level Alc in route to God Cape as well. So yeah, that's going to be some good money. Ah, oh, we're done. 100 library books. And in the process, I got quite a lot more than I was looking for. But yeah, that's enough to get me a God Cape. And also, I can easily boost to access Mage Guild for another task, so... Oh, that was sick. Lots of points. I'm just going to do a bunch of wilderness stuff while I'm here. What? Okay, that was worth it. Damn, this dragon bone. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Did they buff this? Wow, okay. That was, that was crazy. That one dragon bone literally lasted so long. What the hell? Finally, something a little spicy. Outside of the usual quick questing leveling, we can now finally do something a little different here. 
There we go. A minor setback here, but uh, I tried to, to do temporas without cooking, and it's just not really worth it. I do need to try to be a bit on the faster side on the KC, so... So yeah, cooking will allow me to get actual XP when I cook. And I can speed up the Temporos when I get good points, so... Oh, I got something! Oh! What is it? Chef's Catch! Oh my god, yes! I was just talking about that too, holy crap. Oh, I also have a set effect. You've unlocked all the required fragments to use the Trailblazer set effect. You can collect the horrible waystone from Sage and Caterpie. Let's go, dude. First set effect. Hell yeah. I mean, just the chef's catch alone is going to make this so much nicer, dude. Oh, save me so much time from having to actually go cook. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's nice. 500 total level as well. Let's go. Honestly, Jagex did a great job with all the little details they added for this league. For example, when these relics synergize together, you can see them basically electrify. As in, like, wow, they are meant to be. Alright, let's talk to the Sage. So the Trailblazer combination gives you the portable weight stone, and you can only use it when you have those relics synergized together properly. This is definitely one of the best combinations to get early on. Because you have infinite banking at the Frax Enclave Waystone, and you basically have access to a majority of the major areas in RuneScape. Oh, Bombless Quiver is now level 2. Ooh, that's so that's dope. Really good for range training because I will save more arrows now than before. Oh, I got another one. What is this? Chef's Catch. Let's go, dude. That's my third one. Let's go. I can't wait to get level 2 chef catch. Wait, I'm so close to leveling up. Yo, I just got it. Hell yeah. That's sick, dude. Oh, let me read this. 35% chance. Oh my god. Every third fish is cooked. Wow. Oh, I got a, uh, my first level 70 skill. Hell yeah. That's uh, that's another 3 points. Ooh, 10 sages for now. Sick. Very nice. I am slowly working towards uh, Dorgish and Crossbow, so I need to unlock Mining and Agility next, so uh, I think that's 20, 20 total. Alright guys, we did pretty good today. We got over 500 total. Um, 70 fishing, man. Pretty bad. 65 magic. And yeah, base 50s on all the combats almost. Except for HP and range, I guess. But uh, yeah, Relics are good. We're almost tier 4, which means we have uh, almost the double drop rate for unique stuff so it's gonna be nice for the temporos openings uh we can hopefully get some sick sick useful items some aux would be really nice because i'm ultra broke but yeah tomorrow or i guess next video is going to be getting the dorgish and crossbow and then training uh our range up a ton hopefully we have the funding to keep our yeah range training going trying to get some more uh, range relics to really boost our dps and uh yeah Go from there. Maybe go get a fight fire cape or something for fun, or maybe plant some barrels. You know, get some gear for that. Uh, we do have to look into getting items for challenge more rates, of course. Uh, things like tridents and whips and stuff, but that's quite a bit away. So we'll talk more about that when the time comes. Oh shit! Smooth criminal is now level three. Max out one fragment. Oh, that's crazy. So. Well, I haven't really done much thieving though, but I can definitely utilize this to its maximum potential now. Uh, let's have a look at the level 3 Smooth Criminal. Can you stop attacking me, please? Ah, Smooth Criminal. Chance to successfully pickpocket is increased by 50% and no longer take damage from being stunned. Really nice. I should definitely try to get some points off of thieving them with this.